Hi there, welcome to Textile Indie. Today I want to show you how to twine the base of a basket. I do this on mostly my square and rectangular baskets. It holds the stakes in place so that it's easier to build the walls of my basket and move forward with future techniques. I hope you find this helpful and let's get started. So we're going to take a small round reed and we're going to twine it around the edges here and that will hold all the stakes in place and keep it from shifting around as we fold up the walls and build up the walls of the basket. So you'll take your round reed. This is just a small reed that's perfectly round and you want to get this wet. So dump it in your water, move it around, let it sit for a few seconds, lift it out, shake it off. And then you're going to uncoil a piece of it to start weaving with. So there's my piece. I'm going to set the excess aside. Now I want to take this piece of reed and I want to line up the ends so that they're uneven. You don't want the ends to be even. I want them to be off offset about five to eight inches. So I have one end here and one end here. And then I'm going to slide it through my fingers and I want to crimp the other end in half with my fingers. So I'm gently without cracking it going to crimp it so that I have a little loop there. Now I'm right handed so I'm going to take this and I'm going to work left to right. I'm going to take this loop and I'm going to put it over a uh, stake that's underneath. Let's start on this stake here. I'm going to put the loop of this folded round reed over that stake. So now it's looped around and coming in front. Now you have a reed, a piece that's on top of the stake and a piece that's underneath. And what we're going to be doing is twisting it and then wrapping it around each stake. So to go around the handle here, I'm going to take this top piece and I'm going to move it out of my way and take the bottom, the reed that's underneath the stake and move it around the handle. So now it fits against the handle and the piece that's on the top fits on the outside. Now I have a piece, this would be considered underneath and this piece on top of the handle would be considered on top. So I'm going to place the piece that's on top under the next stake. stake. So you have a little twist here where one's looping over the other. And you have a piece of the round reed underneath the stake and a piece over top. So again, we're going to take the one that's on top and loop it around the stake so it goes underneath. And you have a little twist here where it's crossing over. Again, I'm going to hold this bottom reed with my finger, take the one that's on top and loop it around the stake. Keep going until you get to the corner. The one that's on top goes underneath. And then when you get to the corner, you're going to take, move the reed out of your way. You're going to take the one that's underneath, so this reed right here, and I'm going to gently fold the corner so you have a nice tight corner, butting it up against this last stake and then take the one that's on top and fold it underneath. So it also is bedded up underneath, but you have a nice tight corner. And then continue with the top piece going underneath. Top piece twisting underneath. In my corner. I'm going to lift the basket here and gently rotate it around. This is just an easier angle to weave from. 
And then again, at this corner, I'm gonna carefully pinch down the reed that's from, coming from underneath. And then this reed that's on top, fold it under and crimp down on that corner, making it nice and tight there. Holding the reed that's underneath, looping the reed that's on top under the stake. And continue. The reed that's on top loops under. The one that's coming from underneath just stays there. And then again, around th this side of the handle, the reed that's on top, I'm gonna lift out of the way, and the reed that's underneath will loop inside the handle. So the reed that's coming underneath here will loop inside the handle. The reed that's over top of this stake will go outside the handle. And then this gets looped around this stake and placed underneath that stake. And then over and then loop. This reed now is on top, goes under. Make some adjustments to my stakes here and continue around. Again, I'm gonna lift it up carefully and shift positions so that I have a better angle on this corner. The reed that's on top goes underneath and then crimp around this corner here and then underneath. Shift it around to do my corner. If it's too uncomfortable to shift it around, you can leave it where it's at and just work around the outside. This is just more comfortable for me. Now I'm ending up with a bit of a tail before I reach where I left off. So I'm gonna grab another piece of round reed this one doesn't have to be super long. I can use a shorter piece like this. And I'm gonna get it wet again to make sure it's damp. And I'm just going to insert a new piece in to complete this base. So I'm gonna actually unweave a bit because I want to place this new reed in the center so I'm gonna unweave it until the short end is on top of a stake. And I'm gonna take my reed cutters and I'm gonna snip it right on the outside edge of this stake so that it ends on top. And this will keep it tucked in so it doesn't pop out of the basket. And then I'll place this one on top right next to where I cut the original. I'll Pinch that down with my finger, and now this goes underneath, and we're gonna re retwine this section using the new piece of reed. And that's how you do a splicing if you run out of one end of your round reed. Then turn the corner, pinch down, and under. You want your corners to be pretty tight, so pinch them in as tight as possible. And by tight, I just mean that it's really close to both this stake and this stake. And then the top one goes underneath. Okay, so we're about back to where we started. And we're gonna do similar to what we did here with the splicing. We're gonna cut off center. So pull these out of the way. I'm gonna cut this reed on top of this stake here. 
And this read, I'm going to cut right where I started. So it tucks behind where I started. So to the outside edge, clip there. And the outside edge of the stake, clip there. And that'll get tucked in and lay flat. Then I'll rotate this back towards me so that the long edge is towards me. And that is twining the base. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on any fiber arts videos that I share by subscribing below and check out my website, Textile Indie, where I share more fiber arts techniques and tutorials.